Gloria Majiga Kamoto grew up in the pastoral lands surrounding the city of Blantyre, the commercial capital of Malawi. Small subsistence farms had traditionally been a way of life there. Early on, Gloria worked for the Center for Environmental Policy and Advocacy, where she implemented a program that provided goats to farmers as a way to help enhance their livelihoods. The program proved successful until goats began dying from ingesting plastic shopping bags, which covered the countryside. The plastics were everywhere and everybody sees them. It was, for me, a realization that we just take so many things for granted. I've used them and I had never thought that they would actually affect life in that way. Each year, 75,000 tons of plastic are generated in Malawi, of which 80% is single use. Gloria was concerned about the environmental harm caused by plastic pollution and the mounting threats it posed to the country's wildlife, livestock, and subsistence farmers' livelihoods, as well as threats it posed to sanitation through congested sewage systems. How many people will experience that kind of loss and that kind of sense of hopelessness in terms of their own livelihood because we're not able to control the situation? I thought that as a country, there has to be more that we can do. In 2015, Malawi's government had passed a national ban on thin plastics. But several plastic manufacturing companies joined forces, arguing that the ban would cost jobs and hurt the economy, and got a legal injunction to halt it. When the government didn't take action to reinstate the plastics ban, Gloria formed a coalition of activists, NGOs, and farmers to create public pressure toward implementation. I thought I could be that person. I could bring together people and make sure that that happened. And the first thing that we did was to organize a, a GoFundMe account that would help us get a lawyer who would stand on our behalf. We brought together the communities that were actually affected and crying out and calling for this ban as well. And we put the stories together and we brought those into the media. And we also organized a huge climate march. It was a lot of fun, but it also made a huge impact because it showed that we were serious and that scared the hell out of them. After unrelenting pressure from Gloria's campaign, she and the committed band of communities and activists were rewarded when the high court ruled to uphold the plastics ban. We won and the case was thrown out and the injection was lifted and the ban was back in place and it was the most amazing thing. <laughs> and we're celebrating and dancing and just really happy about it. For outstanding environmental achievement for Africa, the 2021 Goldman Environmental Prize is awarded to Gloria Machiga Kamoto, Blantyre, Malawi.